All right, then after the hardware chain, I am going into another compressor, the 1176 Blue Stripe by Universal Audio. And I'm using this because it's a really fast compressor. So I am really trying to get the tone out of this thing and the fast compression out of this thing. So the tube deck is more of a slower compressor and a more round tube compressor. It gives me the warmth and the high end. And this gives me more of that high mid saturation, uh, the fast attack, fast release, higher ratio, A to one. So this, Combo is really great for vocals. Look at me now, the way that I'm moving, yeah. With you I was losing out, and I see it now, yeah. I had my doubts, I know that I knew it, uh. There's plenty of fish in the sea, but I had to learn the hard way. Look at me now, the way that I'm moving, yeah. With you I was losing out, and I see it now, yeah. I had my doubts, I know that I knew it, uh. There's plenty of fish in the sea, but I had to learn the hard way. Do you notice how with the 1176 engaged, there is a bit more presence in her vocal and you hear that her performance almost changes, that there is more pressure on there and that is exactly what compression is doing to me. There is a certain type of push being added, especially with an 1176, that really makes those vocals pop and sit on top of that mix. I really love that combo. I'm using a slow attack, slow for the 1176. It is not slow at all if you compare it to the attack on the CL1B, for example. And then I'm using, a, well, not the fastest release, but somewhere medium fast, around five. Do note that in the 1176, these knobs are the other way around. So one is actually the slowest attack and seven is the fastest attack. And the same goes for the release. I'm using a ratio of eight to one because that is giving me a little bit more of that push that I need. Then after that compressor, I really like to use some saturation to add some extra harmonics. So I'm using the decapitator on the E setting. I've got an overview of all the frequency responses and harmonic content of each and every style of this in my Discord. If you haven't seen that yet, go to the resources page on my Discord. There you can see that the E, for example, has a bit more of a smiley curve frequency response, so it's boosting a bit more lows and highs. So that is actually what I needed right now. I needed more presence and more body. So let's hear the before and after on that. Look at me now, the way that I'm moving, yeah. With you I was losing out, and I see it now, yeah. I had my doubts, I know that I knew it, uh. There's plenty of fish in the sea, but I had to learn the hard way. So I'm making the vocal sound more forward and present with this saturation. Do note that when you are adding saturation and you are adding onto the high end and the high mids, you need to keep your low end in check. 